What is going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video, my sports gamatria. In this video, I'm going to go over a football game for Monday, January 3rd, 2022. I'm going to show you highlights of each side, and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for some reason you're curious to know who I'm picking these games, you have to join my Patreon, where my picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your picks today. Let's go ahead and get to the game. We're going to be looking at the Cleveland Browns versus Pittsburgh Steelers in what could be Ben Roethlisberger's last official NFL game of his career. On this side of the screen is what I call my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew calendar. And then on this side of the screen is what I call my game numbers, numbers specific to the game. The way that I have it structured here up top is the distance to the Super Bowl. Right here is the location of the game, city, state, stadium, coordinates. I keep track of home team win-loss records uh, for the NFL, uh, which means that this particular game will be the 256th NFL game for this current season. Home teams, win-loss records right here. Right here is the head-to-head -head record between the two teams, regular season. And then I have the home team, which is the Steelers right here, their season record, their coach's record, their quarterback's rec record, to and from their birthday, their name, Gematria. And for the Browns, the away team, they're here at the bottom, their season record, their coach's record, quarterback record, to and from, birthdays, name, Gematria. So what I usually do is I start with the home team. No different here. I'm going to start with the home team, give you some numbers that would allow the Steelers to win this game. And then I'm going to give you some numbers that will, that will allow the Browns to win this game. So let's go ahead and start off with the Steelers. This could be potentially uh, Ben's last game as a Steeler, last game in Heinz Field, last game uh, for his NFL career. Do, do the, does the NFL allow Ben to go out with the win? Or does the NFL shame Ben and um, bring him down to size as he exits uh, the industry? Well, if they're going to win today, the Steelers, some numbers that would favor is that Ben Roethlisberger, he can get his 164th regular season win for his career on a day that leaves 265 left in the Hebrew Civil. 164 written out sums to 265. It's also a day with, it's also the 265th day of Brown's quarterback's current age. Uh, ben Roethlisberger, he could become 164-81 for a regular season record with a win. He can sit on that 81 losses. Pittsburgh Steelers sums to 81. Today is the first day of the 11th month on the Hebrew religious, like 111. 111 sums to 81. It also sums to 261. And the Steelers can become 6-2-1 and one at home for the season with the win as Ben sits on 81, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Steelers sums to 81, 111 sums to 81, and 261. 261 is just the anagram of 6-2-1. Today, the first day of the 11th month on the Hebrew religious, like 111. This is the year of uh, the Super Bowl that's being played on February 13th, 2 slash 13 or 13 slash 2. And if the Steelers win this game, home teams for the NFL season heading into the last week of the NFL season will, would become 132 and 123. So home teams can get their 132nd win regular season this year if the Steelers win this game. This is the season where Super Bowl is being played on 2 slash 13 or 13 slash 2. And the home team record for the season could become 132 and 123. 
anagrams of the Super Bowl date. Steelers coach, he was born on March 15th or the 15th of March, and he can get his 153rd win regular season, 153, 315, or 153 for his birth date. Uh, the only problem with that is Steelers could become 5-3-1 and one at home with a loss, so that can go for them or against them. Today does have 26 date numerology on the Gregorian. Quarterback for the Browns is currently 26 years old, it being the 265th day of his 26-year-old age on a day with 26 date numerology, a day leaving 265 left in the Hebrew civil year. The Browns could become 2-6, and six, like 26, uh, with the loss on the road for the season. And what's inter interesting about the 26 and specifically for Ben Roethlisberger, is that if we go to his stats for his career, this will be the last game potentially, so this means this will be the last time he plays the Cleveland Browns, and which means it would be his 29th game against Cleveland Browns. He could potentially pick up his 26th win against the Cleveland Browns, sitting on two losses. So... If they're going to send um, Ben off on a good note, that would be it. However, if they're going to shame Ben and have the Browns win this game, some numbers for that. Unfortunately for uh, Steelers fans and Ben Roethlisberger's fans, they probably don't want to see that, but it could very well happen. Browns do have some numbers here. Let's start with the word Browns. The word Browns sums to 35. Browns can become 3-5 and five on the road with the win, like 35. Baker Mayfield, the quarterback for the Browns, can get his 30th win regular season to go with. The number 30 written out sums to 35. It's the 265th day of Baker Mayfield's current age, and it is a day leaving 265 left in the Hebrew civil calendar. It's a day with 88 date numerology on the Hebrew civil calendar. And on the 265th day of his age, the Browns could become 8-8, eight and eight, like 88, for a season record as they become 3-5 and five on the road. It's also a day leaving 88 left in the Hebrew religious side of the calendar. So that 8-8 eight, eight could be strong for the Browns. Ben Roethlisberger, if they are going to shame him in his last game, he would get his 82nd regular season loss for his career. 82 written out is not only the Super Bowl number for the date of when it's being played. 13 2, 2 slash 13, February 13th. But it sums to 111. 82 sums to 111. And today is the first day of the, the 11th month on the Hebrew religious. Could get his 82nd loss. And then, like I was saying earlier, Mike Tomlin, he could get his 153rd win, but him being born on March 15th, it could go against the Steelers and become 5-3-1 and one at home with the loss. And then home teams for the NFL season would sit on 131 wins with a Browns win. 131 wins. 131 is the 32nd prime number. And Ben Roethlisberger was born on March 2nd, which is written 3 slash 2, like 32. This game's going to be about him. Whether it's a good thing for him or a bad thing for him, it's going to be about him. So, um, those would be some numbers for the Browns to win this game. I'm trying to think of something else, if there's anything else here. Maybe we can go to uh, Baker Mayfield, see how many times he's played the uh, Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers, so six games. He could become uh, three and four. If they were sitting on five, that would be kind of dangerous. They could become three and five like thirty-five, but no, they could become three and four like thirty-four, or two and five like twenty-five. 
because I don't know if any 34 or 25 really pops for me. Um, I don't know. I wasn't really talking about any of those numbers. But one last thing that favors the Browns. This is the number six quarterback versus the number seven quarterback, like 67 or 76. And the Browns can sit on 76 losses regular season head-to-head against the Steelers with the win as the Browns coach gets his 19th win regular season for his career in his 32nd game. 67 six versus the 7. 67 is the 19th prime number. So is it going to come down to, you know, the 81 Pittsburgh Steelers, 81, 81, the 621, the 164, the 153, the 26 over here for Browns, 26 state numerology. Ben Roethlisberger can get his 26th head-to-head win against the Browns to end his career. Or is it going to be the 88 and the 35 for the Browns? For Baker Makefield, Ben Roethlisberger getting shamed with that 82. And uh, that 531 can pop up here for a road record. What's interesting about the Steelers record, though, either even if they win or they lose, it's the same number either way, 871 or 781. But what's fascinating about that is on the Gregorian religious side of the calendar, this is the side of the calendar that I made up, but I technically modeled it after the Hebrew calendar because the Hebrew calendar has two different sides to it. It has the Hebrew civil side, which is a.k.a. the, the fall time within the calendar year. It's around fall. And then the Hebrew religious, a.k.a. the springtime, around the springtime is when, it's, when, you know, when it starts and ends. So you have the fall and the spring of the, uh, the year. And then you have the Gregorian civil calendar, which starts in January, which is the winter. So you have winter, you have fall, you have spring. So there's one missing. And what is that? That's summer. And this is where I made up the Gregorian religious, the summer calendar. But on the Gregorian religious, it's the 187 day, leaving 178 left. And if the Steelers win, they become 871, which is just a reflection of 187. However, if the Steelers lose, they become 781 which is just a reflection of 178. So I thought that was interesting. No matter if the Steelers win or lose, they're going to become a reflection of this number either way, 187 or 178. Um, but uh, that's it for me for now. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this gives you insight for this game. I really appreciate you guys watching. I uh, wish you guys the best of luck on your picks, and hopefully you win every pick that you make.